Hey, so ages ago I got these uh, crayon things. I'm not a huge fan of the texture crayons give. They don't cover things. But anyway, these are watercolour crayons. It's got my name in it, Aquarelle. Um, so there's these little stubs of stuff and I've got these, this paper to try it out on. This is going so good. I've got even, what is this? Earl Grey tea bag, because who isn't obsessed with Earl Grey? Um, don't mind my horrific little table cover. I write crap on it so I don't forget. This even weirder watercolour paper. It says it's watercolour paper. But it's like some form of non-watercolour. It's so weird. It's like canvas. Like you put, you can see the pattern underneath of it and I don't understand what they were thinking when they made it. So I don't think I'll be using this paper in the <coughs> whatever I end up drawing in the end because it's, I don't understand it, it's weird. It has this weird pattern to it. it it's like canvas and it's just, it's just weird. It doesn't, it when you put anything on it you can see all the little patterns and I don't, I don't understand anything got to do with it. I have been wanting to try these for a long time and I've had a go at them a couple times on different things and they seem really weird and I don't know how I'm going to use them, whether I'm going to squash, scratch them onto the paper then add watercolour like watercolour pencils which I don't like using or if I'm going to use like get the brush and actually apply the brush to the little stick and then go from there. But anyway, here we go. Uh, anyway, so I say so so many times. I just need to stop saying S because S's are like ear piercing when I say them. Anyway, whoo, not getting anywhere in this video. I should try at least doing a gradient. Oh, I hate wax. Oh, I hate the feel of wax. How do they even make these wax and water soluble? Makes no sense. Anyway, so, oh, this is horrible already. Mm-hmm. feel like a child on the side of the street. Uh, oh, yeah, get some clean water, you goob. Uh, I don't know why I'm, like, hyper this morning. I had porridge for breakfast, that might be it. I don't know what I'm looking for. Water. I don't know what about okay. <coughs> Why is everything always on the other side of the room? Tip this water out. It can easily be tipped over. Anyway, back on track. So let's have a look. I feel like that red is going to be really toxic. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. No. That's. That thing soaked up too much of the colour. It feels like normal paint. And the blues. I wonder if I should put a white next to it, so it's like a lighter blue. It would be kind of interesting to use this horrific um, pattern that you can see showing through as the pattern that you're doing. If you're doing a style of clothing, you could use that pattern. So it's not horrific, and it's like the pattern of clothing. Um, let's try and blend that. Anyway, so we've just got green, there's blues, yellows, I've got a white and a black. It looks like a swamp. Ah oh dear. I guess you could use it to make pastel colours. Oh yeah. It's pasty. Wait, is pastel meaning like pasty? Because whenever I see pastel colours, even though I love pastel colours, I'm just like, that's pasty. Because it looks like paste. Let's try red pastel. 
I just love the look of pesto pellets there. Oh, it sort of smudges and blends. I'm not saying. So it's like a pink. I wonder if you go... Yeah, I, that's why I don't like watercolour pencils. Because you can usually see underneath it, but I found out that was the paper. If you're using a watercolour paper that's too... Just a second. Too, um... Soft, the pencil... When you put the pencil down, it's going to leave a rib. A ridge? Not a rib. A ridge where the <coughs> pencil is going to continue to sit and it's not going to get washed up with water. So I did have a extra part of that video describing and explaining that I think it was I found a brand of paper that was harder that worked better with the cheaper watercolour pencils that I had and I didn't leave the pattern of all the pencil scratchings underneath it when you apply lots of water to it and you can see the pencil scratches. I think that's what I was saying because it's been a while since I made that little video. But anyway, so I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to do a person or an environment because I have a lot of photos of like Melbourne and Adelaide where I am and just of streets and buildings that I've been wanting to paint. So I was tossing up whether I wanted to do another character design because I always do them. Or I was thinking it might be safer to do a an environment, like some buildings, because they're very... I wasn't sure how I was going to apply them, essentially. <laughs> whether I was going to scratch them onto a little dish and then add water and then mix colours, or I was going to scratch it directly onto the paper, which I wasn't too keen on because I didn't want it to leave indents or strange patterns or marks so that's what I was trying to figure out most of the video so and oh yes oh yeah it's bin day I forgot this is gonna be fun uh -huh. so as you can see by now I decided to do a photo I took I think it's Adelaide my city um, of these apartment buildings that were like this nice mixture of grey fronts and reddish brownie building fronts and I thought they matched these colours nice and it's nice and boxy square so that's what I went with and I realised a while afterwards that I used I ended up using the paper that I said I didn't want to use but I was pleasantly surprised when you find something that you can actually achieve on it because I did try landscape before and I cannot um, understand how to do natural landscapes yet, so I'm better at city landscapes or cityscapes. So when I found something that I was able to accomplish on this paper, it didn't turn out too bad. It The pigment kept picking up if I tried to go over it again, which is completely understandable because it doesn't actually soak into the paper. like normal watercolour paper. I don't even know what this is. It's like, it's literally like plastic. It's like you're painting on plastic. And I don't understand what it is. It's not paper. It's like weird cardboardy wax stuff. And it's called watercolour, but I, I don't know how to explain what it is. It is weird. Oh, and yeah, my window's open and there's like half a million birds out there all squawking at the same, tra same time so you can probably hear that coming through the audio because I can when I listen to it back. I had a quick play around whether I could do um, wet the watercolour paper and then apply the cra um, watercolour crayons to it but it sort of is similar to pencils where when you apply the dry pencil to the wet paper it sort of like soaks up the water around it and then goes into the nib and I don't understand why. And I forgot to try the wet on wet technique, but I ended up just scratching all the crayons into this little, I think it's an um, antipasto little palette, and then I scratched it all into them, and then added mix up the colours, and I got the colours fairly similar to the original photo, but every time I look at them together I'm like, eh, that's not close, but on its own it looks fine to me. <laughs> 
I am slowly getting better at perspective and the way windows work and even drawing cars. I don't like drawing cars and I've drawn about three in my existence and somehow I'm getting better at those without practice so that's interesting. I think it got to a point where it looked really good and then I made some of the shadows too dark and it didn't really match. I used an ink pen brush pen thingy and I kind of wish I didn't but it looks, I quite like the end result, it looks interesting and I'm glad I managed to finally do an illustration with these wax, crayon, pastel, watercolour things, whatever they are, because uh, I'd been looking forward to trying to do a illustration with them for a very long time, but I wanted to do a video first, so, mm, mm -hmm. and I reckon if I do another cityscape with them, I'm going to leave out the line work. I reckon it'll look good just as these boxy shapes of colour and with no line work. That's what I reckon I want to do next time. At the moment I'm going to stick to keeping them in a palette separate instead of drawing them onto the paper then adding water because it's a bit difficult judging how dark the colour is going to be. So in the end after this one I decided to give a character design a go just to see how I go and it is so bright like the colors and I am so impressed with how it went down like I was expecting them to be oh please bin truck please just do what you need to do and then go on to the next one wow thank you for your service but anyway um but yeah, I was expecting the paints to be like really crappy, but they are so smooth and nice. Except like in these little spots where I, because the paper is a bit weird, but anyway. Um, no, I thought they were great. I enjoyed them. Like maybe for travel watercolours, you could do. This one's alright. It looks sort of looks like a postcard, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Um, have a bonza week and keep drawing.